What's going on everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're going to be previewing round 18, Port Adelaide versus Collingwood, a big Monday night clash for Port Adelaide to secure a top spot minor premiership for the 2020 season. Been sitting on top of the ladder all year and uh, it would be a fitting piece of the puzzle to be put in if we could get the job done against the Pies on Monday night and secure that minor premiership as we head into a home final in a couple of weeks time. But it's not going to be the easiest of jobs with certain outs and key players from Collingwood that are going to make a difference on the night. So let's have a look and see exactly how this game will pan out and who I think will win at the end of the day. A massive, massive night of footy at the Gabba. Monday night football. We played once before uh, this year against the Dogs on Monday night footy at uh, the Adelaide Oval and got the job done. So a good form is uh, on Monday nights for sure. But... The Pies are coming in with some considerable form after beating uh, the Gold Coast Suns last week. They, um, they've they secured their final spot, so they won't be as determined as such to um, you know be, make, make or break for their season, really. So that will be may play into our hands a little bit, but at the same time, uh, we'll no doubt they'll still be bringing their A game. And they've got some quality players that are coming back into form at the moment at the good time of the year. So we've got to be mindful of that and make sure that we um, are capable of stopping players like Dugowie, Pendlebury, um, and you know, they've got, they've got some X-Factor players as well that are coming through the system. Maya Check's going to be a real star. Mason Cox has found some form out of nowhere. So we've got to get our matchups right and make sure that we, um, oh, make sure that we, you know, just stop their flow of footy because they can pepper their inside 50s. They can, um, be really good under pressure um, when you know around the ball at the contest and uh, overall I think it's just going to be mainly who can win the footy first um, get their hands on it get that contested footy going and both teams have really good outside players and I think our bit of pace and our bit of speed uh, with you know the likes of Dersma, Rosie, Amon, uh, DBJ who can run through across half back uh, will we'll play a major part in um, helping us secure the four points, which is, which is probably the main focus. And Ken Hinckley has come out and said that, you know, we won't be um, having a main focus on the winning the minor, minor premiership. It's just getting our form right, our structures and everything right going into finals. I think winning is the main, the main reason, obviously, to uh, to focus on. But at the same time, I think we need to make sure that uh, we we're able to. You know, solidify that top spot because it's important to us fans. We haven't had a minor premiership in 16 years, and I think that should be the goal. You know, we've deserved to be top all year. Um, we've done the thing, we've done the right things across each week, across each game, and there's no point coming into the last game and stumbling that, uh, stumbling at that last checkpoint. You know, we've earned the right, so we should be having that main focus. So selections, uh, Ken Hinckley has come out and said that Kane Farrell and, um, and Tom Cluey are out uh, with uh, Carl, uh, not Carl, sorry, Kane Farrell being admitted and Tom Cluey with his with his injury. So he won't play uh, this week, but he should he should be back for finals. And in comes Jared Lena and uh, Boyd Woodcock. So another chance for Boyd to, you know, make a case for a, for a final spot maybe and Jared Leonard obviously has been that player that's been called up whenever the back six has had their issues and uh, he's pretty reliable, pretty good user of the footy and he can play tall or small so that'll that'll come in handy especially the likes uh, of the Pies forward line who have you know certain players that can be quite prolific in the air playing as a, as a tall but also a really good underneath their feet as well so their smalls and tools can be quite flexible, and I think Jared Lena has that uh, part of his game covered pretty well. Um, the reason for maybe Justin Westhoff coming in as well could have been that case, and you know, having that another option up forward could have been um, make a difference. You know, we Westhoff the type of player you can put him anywhere. He could maybe go to the wing and push someone like a Dersma across half back, which they did uh, in the preseason all those months back now but uh, you, know, you can make a case for the Hoff and that's probably a little bit of biasness coming in saying yeah I want Hoff playing this final series especially it's going to be his last but hey 
you can only go so far with a fairy tale story, and <laughs> I hope I hope he gets a game at some stage. I just want to see him be a part of this campaign, and hopefully go all the way. It is um, a little bit disappointing that this game is at the Gabba because I would have liked to have this probably at the Adelaide Oval, and I know the Adelaide Oval's had a few games now played on it uh, over the weekend with Hawthorne playing, Adelaide played Richmond, and you know I think. Yeah, we've only had seven games at the Adelaide Oval this year. With Adelaide Crows, have had ten, um, and it, it does bother me a little bit that case. And I'm not; it's just being a picky, um, picky argument, really. I'm not really that worried about it. But in saying that, you know, I think fair's fair. We've finished top of the table, and I think we deserve a little bit more of a leniency with the fixturing of where we play at a certain venue. But Hey, I'm just being picky, you know. I just want to play at the Adelaide. I just want to play at the Adelaide Oval, and be at the Adelaide Oval. And we will be there in a couple of weeks for finals, so that'll be a positive. But I've got to get over the pies first, and I really feel like that's got to be the main focus, uh, even up until after the Collingwood game, so we can learn from whatever mistakes we make, because we've got to really hone in on certain things that are, um, you know affecting our game and we're building for that four quarter performance and Essendon uh, we had that game against Essendon in a way but this is going to be completely different it's good warm up too because the Gabba you won't get much experience um, leading up to if you play in a grand final so uh, you got to take what you can get All right who's my tip for this week I am um, I'm going to tip Port obviously I think I will win by three or four goals I just think we have that little bit more of an X factor around the ball I know Pies will have Dugowie and um, their midfielders with Pendlebury moving through. Uh, Myacek's pretty dangerous. Cox can do anything. Um, even their youngsters, you know, Stevenson. Uh, they're pretty dangerous, but I feel like that if we can get their measure early, I don't think the game will be played in a you know overdrive type of uh, intensity. I would like. I think it definitely will be a finals type game, but I think as we. And over the course of the night, you'll see it probably drop off a little bit because the teams will know um, there's more at stake than just Monday night football in round 18. Well, that wraps up my preview of Port Adelaide versus Collingwood. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking about this one and um, who, who, yeah, who are you tipping? Who, why are we going to win this one? So uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and AFL content coming your way. My name's Anthony, and as always, can't be there.